for reading thermometers, it's very much like reading a ruler, except you are going to be reading as close as you can to any of these measurements. All right, going from 60 to 70, there are 10 marks. It's like reading a ruler or a graduated cylinder. Each one of these marks has to be worth one, and you're going to put your answer in degrees Celsius. All right, so all of your answers should end in degrees Celsius for your unit. Then, the only thing you need to pay attention to here is if your number ends up going into the negative. If it does, do not count up from this number. You would not count negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. That will actually get you to the wrong answer. You need to count from 0. It's just like a number line in math. You go from 0 up to 5 and 10, and from 0 down to negative 5 and negative 10. So as you read this, read 0, negative 1, negative 2, and it's almost negative 3, so negative 2 point something. Again, you're going to estimate to the best of your ability to a number past a decimal point.